Scott Hinderman. I'm the executive director of the airport. I guess walk us through what you know or what you can tell us right now. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Information is still coming in quickly. Uh, uh, not that long ago, we got a tweet from, well, actually we did, there was a tweet made that there was a bomb on the next Delta flight outbound. The TSA picked that up, uh, they sent alarms, it wasn't going to be a credible alert. And then there were some things with the bag that were a little bit abnormal. Uh, an individual on the aircraft said he wanted to get off and change his flight. So at that point, it became a little bit more credible, uh, unknowing where uh, a lot. So the, the, the airport authority made the decision to evacuate the terminal building because we didn't know. Uh, at this point, we have called in the city. Uh, they're bringing their bomb squad, if you will, if, if that's the right term for it. Uh, they are going to have a dog sniff the bag, reinspect the bag. Uh, they are here, so we do think, and unless something goes different, uh, I think uh, this will be a, a non-event in about 20 to 30 minutes. We'll be back uh, in operation. So, where was the suspicious bag? Was it on the Delta flight? Did you guys load it, or is it somewhere there, in the, the terminal? The bag was not yet loaded. It was still in the terminal. Going through the processing, uh, kind of that's why we had to vacate or evacuate the terminal building as opposed to just pushing the aircraft back away from the terminal. So the aircraft, or the bag, never made the, uh, the aircraft. Uh, we are still taking flights. Flights are still coming in, uh, but obviously with the terminal evacuated, they're not uh, going out at this point. But hopefully again, uh, everything goes well, we'll be back operational here in about 20, 30 minutes. Why well, again, does this recap again why that, uh, say the bag was wet or some kind of a, I, I was trying to do the camera because it's something that you said was a threat. And what time did it happen? So the times I'm not gonna be able to articulate clearly, but the bag, the threat that came through did not seem to be a credible threat. Uh, they were going to rescreen the bag, and then, but then the bag has some abnormalities to it. Um, not gonna get into the details of what those are, uh, but at that point, uh, as well as a passenger started saying, hey, I want to get off this airplane, I want to rebook my flight. So then it started becoming, maybe things were starting to kind of line up. So at that point, the decision was made to evacuate the terminal building, uh, call the bomb squad, and address this bag as a credible threat. Was and again, that, that the passenger, was that the passenger's bag, the guy who wanted to get off? It is uncertain at this time. Um, because things are coming very quickly, but as opposed to sitting and waiting and board the aircraft and then find out too late, we took it and made the assumption uh, that it was. Um, so, but again, uh, hopefully, like a lot of bomb threats, this is an exercise in um, abundance of caution and we'll be back operational shortly. Where, Where was the flight going to? Flight? It was a Delta flight and uh, things are coming so quickly. So the Delta flight, it was either going to Minneapolis, uh, Delta, uh, uh, Detroit, or Atlanta. Uh, at this time, I can't tell you exactly the location of where the flight was coming or going. And how many people were evacuated from the airport? A few hundred? Unknown. Uh, yes, uh, the terminal building is quite busy right now because we had several flights coming in. So the exact number, uh, we do have, uh, we've given water to all the passengers. They're, we moved them to the best that we can in the shade environment, a beautiful Fort Wayne Chamber of Commerce Day. Uh, <laughs> so we're, we're doing the very best we can. Uh, we've got, uh, act, we opened up the, the paid parking lot so all the passengers have access to a restroom. Uh, one restroom, but at least we got something going. Uh, but we're working as much as we can to take care of the public. How many flights evacuated so far? Or how many flights canceled so far? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna say all of them from about, uh, about 225 onward, no flights, uh, no commercial carrier flights left the terminal building. They came in, we took arrivals, but we were unable to get anything out. Uh, apologize, wish I had an exact number on that, but I, I don't have that. I've been working the incident. You said arrivals. Are they still on the planes, or were you able to evacuate them and walk them somewhere? Nope. Uh, all the aircraft that come in, they are either at our fixed space uh, operation or the aero center, or they're parked on a ramp. Uh, and I say that. I think the longest aircraft that's been parked uh, with passengers still on it is about 20 minutes right now. Uh, they are not allowed to come to the terminal ramp because of the bomb threat uh, until we can make that clear. So they are on the airfield, still on the aircraft. We have made arrangements, so if they want to, they can deboard at the FBO and then we would get them rides over here to the terminal building to get the car. But right now, uh, everybody's still on the aircraft. And what, what would do you want passengers to know who maybe have flights later today? Yeah. I mean, you can't make this. Uh, you guys are probably not going to make the decision right now to cancel everything. But what do you want them to know? Do they need to call anybody? I would, uh, if they have the airline that they're flying, their app, I would check it. If not, I'd go to the website. Uh, 
I do know that there are some aircraft that are still held at, held at the gate at the airport before they come here, uh, before they depart. Uh, those aircraft and all the flights that are supposedly outbound are, are still going to go. But yeah, so you should expect a little bit of a delay. Uh, but again, I wouldn't delay yourself too much from coming to the terminal building if your flight's coming because we think we're going to have the building back open in the next 20 to 30 minutes. Can I ask how many passengers were on that plane when the fella asked to leave the plane? Was it well, packed flight? All of our flights right now are getting really close to 100% capacity, but we are operating anywhere from that 88 to 100% capacity on a regular basis. Uh, did not look at the itinerary. That is something that's being uh, reviewed closely right now, uh, but I, I'm, I'm going to make that assumption that the flight was somewhere between 80% and 90% or 80% and 100% full. How much would that flight hold? Oh, that would be uh, uh, 70, 60. And uh, do you know when was the last time this occurred? I, I do not have a memory of a bomb threat that turned into, or it was a cautionary, turned into kind of a credible threat that we had to evacuate from the building. Now, that's not to say at all that that's never happened. I've been here for 14 plus years, and uh, we've never had to evacuate you know, as a result of a bomb threat. So the Rosewater incident that many people know about, that would be maybe, was that in the last 14 years? I can't remember the timing of that. That was probably closer to 15, 16 years ago. I, or maybe even if I could guess, I would say 2005, 2006 time frame.